Hey guys, and welcome back to Them and Us. Well, uh, the fourth video, anyway, of the set. Um, yeah, so I've been a dumbass. The moon key is literally behind us the whole time. Boy, do I feel stupid. Anyway, let's go down below and find ourselves some more items, because that's what we are sorely lacking at the moment. So we've used the moon key. Notice how it is not discarded yet, though. This brings us into the kitchen, where we have the chef, who is not looking too good, actually. But that's okay. It's oh, she's got a little bit hands-on. Uh, I guess you sampling fresh meat for the kitchen. Well, not on my watch, bitch. Okay, she's, she's not, oh, she's really going in for the bites there. She's, she's really enjoying a taste of Alicia. Anyway, let's grab the old key because, uh, you know, it seems like the right thing to do. And the door is locked by some strange mechanism. I see. There is another zombie here. Well, let's see if we can't wake him up with some gentle, loving taps from the finest cutlery this place has to offer. We have a table clock. It's not working. I can see a small paper below it. Let's move the clock. And this will tell us the time that we need to set the clocks to, but we've already done that. The note reads, 6.40, dinner time. I've heard that that's randomized, but well, it's always been the same thing for me. The lock is jammed, I cannot open. Well, we're not gonna worry about that. Looks like they've been cooking up an awful lot of offal here. I mean, I guess that's what these people eat. I don't judge. Probably a local delicacy. All right, let's do our best to take this guy out. Because the last thing we wanna do is leave lots of zombies around. Looks like a small elevator to perhaps, uh, perhaps to transport food in the mansion. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I guess that's one reasonable use for such a device in a kitchen. Anyway, this guy had some hangar ammo for us. Pretty, pretty kind of him, to be honest. Let's head back upstairs. So we now have the moon key. It's a rather useful one, if I'm honest. We need to put the old key as well. Now, to try and remember where we can use the old key. Let's go back through. So we've used the golden key up there. Okay, cool. So, uh, I remembered, uh, observing back through some of the old footage, that we forgot to pick up the blue book. Well, I say we forgot to pick up the blue book. We actually didn't quite have enough uh, inventory space for it. So, let's go and do that. And let's see if we can't use a few of our items along the way. We can't get in through there yet, but that's fine. Let's head back on through. to where we started. Now we should be able to use the moon key here. The door has no keyhole, so we have to use it on the other side. Well, that's kind of okay. We can use that to get that. So we've got some more handgun bullets. We have nearly a hundred handgun bullets, so when it comes to firepower, we're actually sort of sitting pretty. And again, we're kind of shit out of luck because we can't use that door on the end, which is a massive pain in the balls. Now, I would say that Alicia here doesn't have testicles, but these days, living in the year that we do, we cannot make such assumptions. Let's head back and go the long way around. Hopefully no more zombies have uh, spawned. Whilst we've been busy, yeah, that's just crap on the floor. We don't need any of that stuff. 
Let's go. Yeah, definitely um, could have made this a lot less painful with the backtracking if they allowed just one extra door to be open. But no matter. Let us. And in fact, I think we can use the moon key here. There we go. And that will lead us back into the uh, bedroom where we started the game. Cool. Now, we have a book to grab. We have got inventory space as well, so that's good. Let's head back on through. Now, I'm not sure the most efficient way through, whether it's straight through that door or to go this way round. Probably doesn't make a huge amount of uh, difference. Now, one thing I do like about the knife in this game, it's cool to actually have a survival horror experience where the knife isn't completely useless. It is refreshing. Well, it's just bandages. We're not really going to need any uh, bandages. Now, one of these TVs in this game will allow us to put filters over the top. Uh, it's an interesting Easter egg. You know, we can make the game really pixelated or we can have like a black and white filter, that kind of thing. It's, you know, eh, doesn't really serve a hell of a lot of purpose, but I mean, I guess it's there if we want to use it. Now, having this door open is going to make backtracking so much more efficient. Can we really still examine that? There's nothing more. So I believe that was actually the final old key in the game. Which is pretty nice. And now we can literally go straight through here. And... Ah, but wait. Almost. One step ahead there. We actually need to go back through here because we need to go to the library to use the book to grab the other creature head. And then we can double back and go back through. Okay. Okay. This is definitely one of those games where if you're going to be speedrunning it, not that I'd imagine there would be a lot of people speedrunning this game, but you're really going to have to write a pretty detailed flowchart for yourself, you know, with um, pretty uh, descriptive lists of items. Uh, we're not going to be using that. Right, so let's use the blue book. That will allow us to have the lion's head. Then with the lion's head... We can then go back into the main uh, backyard, courtyard area, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, well, get another set of keys, which we can then return to the library for to, well, get, get a, another key to open another door. Right. Now we're where we should be with the items that we need. So, let's go and install this here. That's what I was confused with. I heard something move. And that's going to eject the actual real lion's head. So if you look at the description of that lion's head that we had, it was an imitation, I believe it says. Whereas now we have the real lion's head. It's confusing, and it just seems to be an arbitrary way of padding hundreds and hundreds of usable items. And I think a lot of these indie games go uh, a little bit crazy with that. I think Crow Country handled it really well. There wasn't like an overwhelming amount of uh, key items in that game. There was just enough. But then when you think about the traditional Resident Evil games as well, there was never just millions and millions and millions of items that you constantly needed to juggle. Some were indeed worse than others, sure. But it wasn't too crazy. Now... We can uh, put the lion's head there. And we can 
put the wolf head over the other side. Is it a wolf head? It is a wolf head. And then we can keep this party train moving. <gasps> a secret door. Surely not. Actually, can we read that? Old books. We can look at the old books, but we can't read them. And we need the earth key for access to that room. Okay. Let's go back downstairs. At least they've given us the mercy of a ladder here. So there's that. Okay, so what do we have inside? We have a vinyl record. This looks very old, perhaps hundreds of years old. One second, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, quick apologies for that sudden cut. Um, I've just spent four hours in the emergency ward of the uh, hospital. Um, <laughs> I just had a weird episode uh, where I lost the vision in half of my eye, uh, in my right eye. That th that was a, a thing. So um, I've just <laughs> come back from the hospital. Uh, after being discharged, and they reckon I've just had a um, slight retina detachment, which, well, that was fun. Um, you know, that 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 was cool. Uh, I've got to have a follow-up eye exam tomorrow uh, when they phone me. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm an old man now, I guess. Anyway, enough about that. Excerpt from the Journal of Dr. Arnold Howard. July 5th, 1981. Although the group has claimed to have been around for several centuries, I have yet to find any definitive proof of this. So far, my time spent among the commu... I need to turn that down. Uh, spent among the community's residents has been uncomfortable. They keep a great many things hidden from me. Despite my insistence that my uh, role as a passive observer... Oh, sorry. <laughs> as they keep a great many things hidden from me, despite my insistence that my role is as a passive observer. Although they have not come right out and said this, I do believe their ultimate goal is to sacrifice to this master. The name is mentioned several times throughout conversations I have had with them. I believe the master refers to their god, although they speak of him as if he lives among them. At this point, I have been researching them for two weeks, and it is unclear what their ultimate goal is. All I know is that they are waiting for someone to come to them. Someone of great importance, I think, is supposed to initiate some sort of great event, perhaps apocalyptic in nature. Oh my. So. Looks like there's some kind of journalist, or at least researcher, that is living amongst their ranks. Journal of Dr. Arnold Howard has been filed. Interesting. So this researcher apparently has been allowed to just come in and document his findings. So there are non-aggressive people? I don't know. Anyway, evil medallion. Well, we're going to take that. And we're going to take uh, the save disc with us as well. Just because it's going to be more use closer to where we're going. Right. Yes, let's go. What a day. Um, I'm hoping this video is at actually fine. I have left it paused for like, I don't know, the last six, seven hours. So, I think everything's good. Everything appears to be recording as normal. Right. Oh yeah, we've got a medical bag there. Well, we're not going to worry about that. At least, not yet. We are going to call it home. We did go down below, didn't we? And we did all of the uh, kitchen stuff that we can do up until this point. Right, let's go and stick the evil uh, desk in place. So we have the angel and the devil. And that is going to allow us to go forth into the outside. And this is where things start really picking up. I'm hoping there's not too much background noise. Uh, my partner, she is watching her TV stuff in the other room. But it should be fine. 
And we have another memory. We've got a big tubby zombie coming our way. Let's see if we can't lure him down some stairs. Probably the best uh, way of dealing with these guys. Come on. Let's be having you. Look at you, you stupid derpy bastard. Well, I have a couple of swipes. There we go. Yes, there we go. We don't want any of that all over us, do we? Oh, okay. Well, I guess we've got some of it over us anyway. Let's make sure we're actually on the stairs. Um, we've got some more deadites coming from below and from above. All right, this could get a little bit awkward before it gets better. That's fine. Now, I... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think these... Oh, we're in a bit of a bad, bad way here, aren't we? I don't think these guys can actually puke. Oh, we actually get blocked. I don't think they can puke up the stairs, which I could be wrong. Yeah, we're getting completely bodied by these guys. That's fine. We have plenty of healing. Come on, buddy. Take your medicine. Oh, he's armless now. Oh, nice try. We've already got enough of that stuff down our blouse. Now these guys, we can comfortably take out with a knife as well, but it is a little bit more hit and miss. There we go, he's done. Right. <clears throat> Let's clear the grounds before we do anything too extreme. Come on, buddy. Let's be having ya. Now, if we get hit once, oh, we're dead. Jeez, when did we last save it? I definitely overreached there big time. And I cannot remember where we were before I saved it. Um, no matter. This You Are Dead takes way too long to scroll. <laughs> we get it. We're dead. Now, where were we? Oh, dear. Hang on. We had just got there. Oh, man. All right. So, managed to play us back up to roughly where we were. And this time, I've taken the liberty of saving the game. <gasps> I know. I know. I should have done that to start off with. But you live and learn. Right, let's try and take out these zombies this time. I also think I've done this a little bit more efficiently because uh, I think we were way more injured when we were here last time. And by last time, of course, for you, that was like a second ago. For me, well, <laughs> it was a good... Oh, you fucking dickhead. Absolute cunt stubble. So, yeah, a little bit longer for me. Right, he's done. Let's see if we can't take some more guys out. Really want to take him out on the stairs. I don't want to be wasting health if we don't have to. But I'm not really sure what counts as health uh, stairs here, to be honest. Um. Oh, he's coming. I think. I'm not sure if that zombie below us is aggroed yet. Ah, stop being a bitch. You're already dead. Take it like a zombie. Alright, this guy... Don't even think it... It's crashed, isn't it? It's crashed. The game has crashed. Right, let's see if we can get somewhere this time. Now, this game has crashed on me a few times. Mainly, it's crashed on my ROG Ally. And I thought, oh, you know, it's probably because we're running non-standard hardware, yada, 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 little mobile chip. But no, it appears to crash on this as well. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Having a quick look at the Steam reviews, it does seem to be that. It happens every now and again but that's fine again you know that's just another reason to make sure that your save system is a little bit better than 
we have here. Nobody likes having limited saves and then losing progress. Ah, oh, he's already coming up the stairs. Because of course he is. Come on, you old stinking smelly bastard. Well, you're useless now. Evening, squire. Let us do the dance of death on the stairs. Hopefully, this guy isn't going to be such a dick penis man. And we're not going to spend an awful lot of time knifing these guys to death only for the game to crash. Or my retinas to detach or something. Alright, we're getting there. We are getting there. Yeah, always knife the zombies that are on the floor. Because nine times out of ten, they're just sleeping. Right, let's have a little look around, shall we? Well, it's a newspaper. November 21, 1978. I'm sure I heard this news before. Whilst I was trapped in that place, 400 stood in a line to die. Okay. Experts look at cults and suicides. Got a bandage. I mean, why not? We can adjust the statue, but we don't know why we need to adjust the statue just yet. So, it seems a little bit redundant to do so. Fine. Let's go and see our crippled friend over here. See if we can't uh, cripple him even further. There we go. Just <laughs> This is awful, really, when you think about it. Still, it worked. Oh, we have another crippled friend. Aw, bless. And a not so crippled friend. Well, come on, friend. Let's see you get a little bit closer. And Alicia, if you could adopt the knife stance, please. There we go. This guy definitely looks like he's, uh, you know, not having the best time of his life. But he had the last time of his life, so, you know, there's that. Come on, buddy. There you go. You got a bit of a wiggle on, haven't you? This guy's ripped into a can of monster this morning. Or this evening, I guess. That's when the game takes place. Come on, buddy. We're actually killing these zombies pretty well, to be fair. Oh, you son of a bitch. I had to say it, didn't I? I literally had to say it. So close to a perfect little victory there. But, you know, that's how it goes. Right, what do we have? We have a save record. Some vintage wine with some hanger bullets. Box doesn't look too heavy. Oh, okay, so we can't actually push the box around until we have examined this. The gate is blocked from the other side. I could find a way to jump over the other side from there. Okay. Well, it just so happens that we've seen a box back here that we could probably use. That was awfully convenient now, wasn't it? So, let's get this box moving swiftly over. If you please. Well, Alicia, she's uh, certainly got the upper body strength of 20 women. That's fine. Right. Now, we have to push it in this direction. I do wish we could skip or at least speed these sections up, but alas, we cannot. Oh, we can. We can skip that, which I'm glad, because that is a very long sequence of pushing the bloody box into the corner. Not really sure why. But, there we go. So, this place looks wonderful. Got some more bullets. We've got 125 bullets now. Oh. Well, this guy looks... different. Alright. Gee, I wonder if he's going to come to life when we pick up this. Hidden keynote. To Oscar, or whichever of the members are in charge of landscaping. I have hidden a key that unlocks some of the exterior gates to the residence. 
We've had problems with some of the newer initiates wandering around, sticking their noses in places they don't belong, which angers the master, you know, how he is about security. If you need access to those areas to complete your chores, you can find the key in one of the corner flower pots closest to the lamppost that's near the entrance of the mansion. Please be sure to return it when you're done. I see. And it looks like our little friend Super Zombie is going to get out for a little little march around. Now this guy, this guy is not your garden variety zombie. He's faster, he's stronger, and he's more handsome. And you can see that he has that added extra little swing attack that the others do not. Oof. Okay, that's the first time I've actually been hit by one of these guys. But, he does go down after a couple of headshots from the pistol. So, I don't know if he's like the ultimate zombie. Or if we're going to find others. Come on, dude, slow down. You can't keep chasing me like this all day. What do you think this is? Kiss chase? Because I'm not being funny, fella. But I don't want no kisses from you. Call me fussy. But uh, Alicia has higher standards. I don't think these guys use breath mints for a start. You can see as well, they're in that running animation for quite a while. <sighs> Shooting them does kind of pause them, but kiting them around is probably where it's at. Oh my god, they have so much health. Come on, Alicia. Get a move on. Now, notice how we only found one magazine's worth of ammo in this area. That's not a lot. Not by any stretch of the imagination.